Yo, what's Gucci motherfuckers? It's Fatboy Big, and I just wanted to make a quick update video. As we all know, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is going to have a beta. Comes out October 14th, first on PlayStation 4. A week after that, it's coming out on Xbox One. Now, unfortunately, this year, there is going to be no beta on PC or computer. You know, all you PC players, computer players, whatever you want to call yourselves. Unfortunately, there is going to be no beta on that platform. So if you play on PC, you know you can't play the beta. You're going to have to wait for the release. You're going to have to look at a whole bunch of gameplay. Maybe you could play it on console before you make the decision on buying it on your computer or, you know, on your console, whatever you want to do. Um, I don't know what the reason is behind that, but my assumption is, you know, last year with Black Ops 3 beta, the PC players did a lot of data mining. They they showed us a lot of shit from the zombies menu, which wasn't even in the beta, but somehow they data mined and they found a lot of shit from the beta that correlated into zombies. They showed us a lot of weapons that were still in the code that led us to believe, you know, these weapons are going to be in the full game. And I'm pretty sure the reason behind that of them not putting the beta this year for Infinite Warfare on PC is because they're hiding a lot of shit in the code for the full game that they don't want you guys to release to the public probably you know how the classic weapons look how the classic weapons shoot you know different simple shit like that that they they just don't want the public to see you know what i'm saying now moving on from that what i wanted to talk about is you know a lot of i've been seeing a lot of people in the comment sections of infinite warfare beta videos asking is the beta going to be open if you don't know what an open beta is it's basically open to the public it's a beta where Anybody who has a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One can download it and play it for the weekend just to test out the game and see how it is and make their judgment or make their decision on whether or not they're going to buy it. Now, from what I remember with the Black Ops 3 beta, it wasn't free the first three days. The beta was out for four days. It was supposed to end on Sunday, but they made an announcement that, you know what, we're going to have it up for one more day, which was Monday. So on the third and fourth day, for some reason it was it was open to the public so whether or not you pre-ordered it you can play it i don't know if that's going to happen with infinite warfare as more than likely just because they want more players to experience the game but if you want early access so on friday october 14th if you want access to play infinite warfare and test it out early unfortunately you are going to have to pre-order the game it's not going to be free it's going to cost five dollars or if you want to buy the full product like i did because i love call of duty and i'm just going to play every fucking call of duty whether or not it's futuristic or not you have to download you have to pre-order not download and um you if you have a code right now you cannot put it in do not give your code to anybody they're not going to fix you you can't put it in it's invalid until they activate it um other than that if you have a digital deluxe edition like me you're going to have to wait for your code or you can call PlayStation up right now. Tell them you pre-ordered the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Digital Deluxe and you didn't receive a beta code and they will supply you with one. But other than that, it's been Fatboy Big giving you the update video on the Infinite Warfare beta. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you hit that sub button. And I'm out this bitch.